All right, let's go ahead and get it done. Seahawks win 30 to 13. Um, pretty much what I expected. It wasn't a complete blowout. It wasn't complete domination. It was just a solid, nice win that was never all that competitive. Uh, maybe a little bit at the first, but once things got going, it was put away pretty quickly. So, talk about this game specifically, what happened in it. Uh, Wilson played great again, probably the worst game he's played in the last month or so, which is really saying something about how good he's been. Uh, he threw one pass that absolutely should have been picked off his last pass of the game there in the uh, end of the fourth. Threw a couple other passes that weren't great, but other than those little things you can pick out over the course of a four-quarter game, he was on the money once again. Our third down, we were like 9 for 12 on third down, which is in insanity. Our red zone numbers are glowing, and today they actually look worse than they should because the red zone drive at the end of the first half, you know, that, that technically counts as a failed red zone possession because we got the ball inside the 20, but if you watch the game, you know it was a Hail Mary that led to a field goal. So, you know, I don't... You can look at that. And then obviously the last drive of the game where we were basically just trying to run clock and kick the field goal. Um, you, those are situational, that's situational style football that the stat statistics can't totally reflect. So <clears throat> it was another game of being incredibly efficient on offense. Third downs were nothing to us today. Um, offensive line, I think they took a little bit of a step back today. They were just okay. I'm not going to say they were bad or horrible or anything like that, but they gave up some pressures. They gave up some stuff. Some guys were committing penalties. It was okay. We're going to have to be better than that going forward, but um, it wasn't a huge step back for those guys. Uh, good news is that we got much more of a rushing attack than I would have guessed. Um, Christine Michael emerged as clearly the best option we have at running back right now <clears throat> based off one game. And obviously it's against the Cleveland Browns, and the Browns don't have a good run defense. But um, based off what we've seen so far, we've only seen one game from Michael and one game from Bryce Brown. Then it, it, it's got to be said that those um, that of those two guys, Christine Michael looks like he's got a little more going for him. But Bryce Brown played well too. And I didn't expect both those guys were going to be good for us, and there's still time for that to turn around. But... After one game, you got to say that those guys played better than I would have expected. So the running game allowed us to remain very balanced. We ran the ball 36 times. We threw the ball 32 times if you count sacks. And <clears throat> that's the kind of balance that we want. And it's not necessarily the kind of balance we're always going to be able to have. But today we were able to do so. Receivers. I said I was going to watch these receivers. Now today was not a day where we had to become this pass-heavy offense. Today we were able to stay balanced and run the ball more than we threw it. Great. Um, that being said, Jermaine Curse has one of the best games of his career. Seven catches, 110 yards. Uh, Doug Baldwin continues to rip up the league. Two touchdowns for him on four catches. Um, just playing out of his mind this last month. It, it's... I... I I don't know where this came from because I've been watching Doug Baldwin his whole career and I thought he was just a good receiver, but he has shown so much more than that over this past month. And um, I've always been hard on Doug Baldwin. I always said, you know, he's a good receiver, but he's not great. I've called him out for his immaturity because I think at times he's uh, done some <laughs> very odd and said some very odd things that I just didn't think he, and I thought he was a little out of line, but uh, he's proven a lot of people wrong and I have to put myself in that camp. Tyler Lockett, another good game for him. It was one of those days where he didn't do a ton on special teams, so you contribute on offense, and I'd rather have him contributing on offense. Other than that, you know, like I said, it was not a game where we had to throw the ball a bunch. Next week, the week after, we'll see, maybe. <clears throat> and then the week after that in the playoffs, I feel like that game is coming. That game is going to come where we just have to throw the ball 40, 45 times, and I just hope the guys we have are ready for it. Defensively wasn't perfect. Uh, one guy I noticed who was uh, not playing so great was Jeremy Lane. He uh, missed a couple coverages, I thought. I thought he um, missed a couple tackles on third downs. But even that, you know, it's not anything too bad. The defense, they played solid. They didn't play great. They gave up the opening drive long touchdown. That was a ugly drive for the defense. <clears throat> 
And then after that, it was pretty solid stuff. Not perfect. Still not forcing turnovers. We still only have, um, you know, we forced the one turnover today, which was in complete garbage time. So I barely even give credit for that. But um, we continue to be solid at, in terms of at least limiting what other teams can do. Kelsey McCray playing for the injured Cam Chancellor. I thought Kelsey McCray actually played really good, and I did not expect it from him. It seems like this team is scared to play him at safety this year. We want to play him on special teams. But he went in there, and I thought he actually played a pretty good game. So I'm good with McCray. Uh, K.J. Wright continues to have a Pro Bowl caliber season. I don't know if he's going to get there, but I think he should. Uh, Bennett had a sack. Meebane had a sack. We, we need to get some push from the interior on passing plays. And a guy like Brandon Meebane getting after the quarterback a little bit because he hasn't been all season really would go a long way towards that. <clears throat> Burley had the pick at the end, had the sack. Great game for Marcus Burley. And all around it was just a bunch of guys doing their job. But um, if I was to point anything out, penalties. Uh, we had four offside penalties today at home, which is just ridiculous and should never happen. Uh, Averill had two, Irvin had one, I think I think Bobby Wagner might have had one, uh, somebody else had one, but um, they, you gotta, against better teams, they'll take advantage more than the uh, Browns did today, that, that's what I'll say about that, and it's it's been a problem this whole season, and it's going to become a season-ending problem if we don't get on top of that somehow, I, I don't know what the answer is, but we got a group of guys who they really want to get after the quarterback, but they, they've got to control it or or things are going to hurt on later on. Uh, I think Deshaun Sneed got hurt. Hopefully that's not bad because, you know, we'll put ourselves right back where we started if Deshaun Shed is uh, – I keep saying Sneed. I'm sorry for that. It's Deshaun Shed. His name is Shed. I'll get it eventually. Uh, Shed, hopefully he's fine. And Okun got hurt at the end of the game, which is a big one. And all we can do is cross our fingers and hope. I know the offensive line's been playing really a lot better lately, but I don't want Alvin Bailey out there. He has not yet shown me that he can man that position. He played good in, de in the game against Dallas, but I don't trust him over the course of, you know, a full game over the course of the playoffs when you're playing against the best. So, yeah, that's about all I got for this game. Good game, good win. Same stuff, not perfect, but um, we're in the dance now. We got ourselves a lottery ticket, and um, all I can do is watch this uh, Sunday night game. We're not drawing dead for the division yet, but obviously it's a long shot no matter what happens, and um, I guess I'll be crossing my fingers tonight without expecting that much. All right, see you guys later.